Howdy, 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 folks. It's your boy Hefetanks back with another key map position video for you guys. And today we got the broken Thiepful Ridge South, actually, North Spawn location. Let me tell you what. If you guys find yourself on Thiepful Ridge in the North Spawn, just, just pray. Just thank the gods because this map is so broken with this spawn, it's just not even fair for the enemy team. So few things you're going to need if you want to get into this position. One, speed. Need a little bit of speed. You can't get here with a heavy. Like I said, I'm playing the 260 again. It's got some decent speed to it. You don't really need armor. You just need speed. TBH, all you need. Uh, it does help to have armor, you know. There are some positions over here that you can use with armor that work really well. It's not really needed. You can work this area without it. And actually, the more speed you have, the faster you can get to this location, and that means the faster you can just stop the whole enemy advance. So, I take a less precise route than what I usually take, because I was a little wary that just because I was in a heavy tank and a little bit slower than what I'm usually in in a medium or a light, if you were in a medium or a light, I would just say straight up, just beeline it to D9. That is your square location that you guys want to get to. So like I said, I take the scenic route to D9 here, but eventually you want to be ending up at D9. Now, if you're in a very mobile tank, then like I said, just cut straight across where that light tank is. Just whatever you got to do, just go straight to D9, okay? You're going to want to spot the hillside and you're going to light up all of the enemy tanks to try to go to the top of that little camping little uh, hill with the little uh, windmill up there. You're going to pretty much stop all the tanks in their tracks. Now, there are some rules that you should follow if you're going to do this. Like I said, this is not 100% going to work 100% of the time. You are going to want to have teammates all along the A-line backing you up. I'm in a platoon. I know I have at least one gun that will be helping me out over here. You don't want to go into this position because this position relies on you having teammates to back you. So, in pushing to this position in my, my heavy tank right here, you will, since I took the scenic route, you will or could run into a heavy tank or somebody right there to the left that just shot at me. Now, it, once you're in this low spot right here, you're safe from their fire, you're safe from the right side fire, and you're safe from the top fire. This little divot down here next to that rock and tree is a safe spot. But as soon as you, you don't want to stay there, unless you're being pushed. If you're being pushed, then you want to get down to that divot and you want to just tuck and cover and duke it out until your teammates are done backing you up. But if you do get pushed, as long as the tanks are not in that divot, your teammates behind you on the A-line should be able to get shots in. And now, this is what you want to be right here. You want to poke your tank up so that you're putting vision range to the top of the hill. See that guy right there just trying to play the game? Nah, he's not playing the game. He's going to get shredded, okay? Same with this medium tank on the top of the hill. This is what happens for all of the enemies that are stupid enough, or not stupid, but foolish enough to take the top of this hill right here, is that they just can't do anything. You completely just take away this whole position that they have. This whole camping position that looks up over, they they usually have shots into the middle of no man's land. They have shots over into my people on the A line. They have shots everywhere with this position. And you're just, and see what happens when you tr when someone tries to YOLO you? The, this guy's going to try to YOLO me and he's going to get tore up. This is what happens, you guys. This is why this spot is so key. He lost half his HP and I still have this position. And then another one tries YOLOing me. I, luckily he was on a one shot, but even if I somehow was unlucky to miss that shot, I guarantee you my teammates would have got him too. This spot is very dangerous, you guys. For the enemies, not for you. Honestly, this is a pretty easy spot to get yourself into. If The only thing you'll have to worry about is getting YOLO'd. Like, I had two tanks YOLO me right here. You just gotta pray that your, your teammates behind you got some good accuracy. But once you're here, that, that's it. The, the game is over. The game is over and it's just started. So this once you win this left side right here, you can start working your way up either through the riverbed right there to the right, or you can just stay on the top and put some more vision out. If you got really good vision, you might be able to spot some Arties in their base or some camping TDs. 
here is another example of what happens when you do try to YOLO down in here. You just, it's just, it does not work for them. It does not work. All of my teammates can shoot these guys. Granted, they're not, and, but I mean, still, and there it is, see? So, oh, that was the light tank. <laughs> uh, anyway, once you've won this side, if your team's getting crushed on the other side of the map, you can cut through no man's land, or you can head back up to A8 and then take the A line in to defend base. Whatever you got to do, or you can keep pushing. Uh, my favorite push from here, depending on uh, what tank I'm in. If I'm in a heavy tank like this, I'll take the riverbed. There's more cover over here. If I'm in a medium or a light tank, if there is no tank that is still camped over on location F9, then I will cut go through the left little passageway and just travel down the nine line, go kill Artie, all that good stuff. Um, there's just so much that you can do once you win this side. Um, so yeah, whatever your guys' game ends up turning out to be, you'll just have to adjust from there. But you know how this goes. You know, I gave you what tanks you want to try to be in when you to try to get into this location. You know, some doesn't matter what tank, honestly, as long as you got speed. If you got armor, I mean, cool, that works too. If you don't got armor, that also works really well. Put vision on the top of that hill. Don't let the enemies get the top of that hill. And then uh, anyone who tries YOLOing you, your teammates will hopefully have to back you up. Make sure you have teammate support. Don't just go into this location by yourself thinking that you're going to rule the world. It's not going to happen. When you spot that hill and you don't see any assistance damage, it's because your teammates ain't there to help you out. And then you're going to get YOLO'd, and then you're going to be like, what the fuck, have a tank? Like, you told me this spot was, like, OP. You know, yeah, it is, with assistance, all right? Whenever I'm on the, the opposite side of their spawn, like, if I'm in the enemy spawn right now, I hate playing Thiefful Ridge because it is just impossible. If someone goes into this position, and they always do, it's so easy. Like, it is so, like, their spawn to that location is all mostly flat to downhill. The you to try to get into the if if you're the enemy trying to get into the location, you got to go up that hill. It's just a lot longer. Obviously, if you're in a heavy tank, or something, but <sighs> yeah, you guys. Um, I hope that this video was helpful. I think that I'm just cleaning up the last of my damage in this game. It was a good game. Uh, oh, I remember what happens there. This is actually sort of funny. So I'm like, ooh, yes, a nice juicy T57 heavy. Like, I'm hold down right here. Like, I am chilling. Oh, he's not even focusing on me. I'm like, mm, 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 let me just let me just take these his HP from him. He doesn't need it. He does not need it. And uh, yeah, it's it's it. What's that? What's the what's that ship barn doing? No. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Okay. Yep, he mounted him, and he fucked me. Greenies are always fucking me. I'm joking. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not joking. He fucked me there. Unknowingly fucked me, but fucked me nonetheless. All right, you guys. Look at that. Was a, that was an okay game. 5,000 damage, 5 kills, 2,500 assistance. You will get lots of assistance in this uh, position. There wasn't that many tanks that really pushed that side, so I didn't get too much assistance from the people that I, you could have, like, milked on the hill. But, every game is different, you guys. If you guys want to see more OP map positions, then go and click on the key map positions playlist, or I will link it above or in the description. And you guys, I got a couple more videos in there. I got a couple more videos coming, more maps coming, more positions coming. As usual, you guys, thank you for showing up. Why don't you do me a favor and we'll rack that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell on the top right. It'll let you know when I drop a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, deuces.